So this open house is an annual event. We've been doing it for a few years now, since the adoption of the new plan for Tyson's in 2010. We like to come out and show the public what's been happening in Tyson's, what's the progress that's being made on that vision plan. So we have maybe about a dozen developers here showing their plans for their properties. We also have county agencies. We have Department of Transportation, the Park Authority, Community Revitalization. Part of the plan for Tyson's is to make sure there will be public facilities to meet the needs of all the people who are going to live and work here, and that includes schools, libraries, police stations, fire stations, parks. And what we wanted to do was to make sure that the right parks go in the right places, because there's a variety of park types that you would find in an urban area. Little pocket parks, civic plazas, common greens, recreation focused parks, linear parks with trails, and we wanted to look at Tyson's and see where all those different types of parks should go. So there are a lot of different aspects of a redevelopment plan that we have to look at. And so we're working with the rezoning applicant, the developer, over a year or two to make sure that they're meeting all of those um, requirements and doing it well. I found that there's a lot of people interested in, in how we're going to urbanize and there are a lot of folks who are familiar with what's happened in the roslyn Boston corridor 40 some years ago and we're kind of at the beginning of the new Tysons. There are going to be a lot of transportation improvements happening concurrent with development and our plans really restore the stream that exists there today, Scott's Run stream which runs all the way down through McLean and down to the Potomac. We're enhancing that portion of Scott's Run stream valley by adding additional trails, stream restoration project, the pedestrian bridge that brings you from the Kiss and Ride site over to our development site. There's going to be bike paths and pedestrian paths from one end of town to the other. You'll be able to get all the way across Tyson's without your car. So it's a big, bold undertaking. And we meet as a partnership on a regular basis, you know, studying and wrestling with the problems, then coming up with innovative solutions. And county government is being very forward-looking in finding new answers to new situations and the county government conceived this plan that specified how the buildings should look to be both bold and original but harmonious. They conceived all of these energy standards they were going to require everyone to meet in terms of energy efficiency. They conceived a new transportation system for the buses to connect and of all of this new construction, three quarters of it is within a half a mile of a metro station. The comprehensive plan talks about a new grid of streets with um, wide sidewalks and on-road bike lanes. And what we wanted to do was to take that a little bit further and um, come up with an idea for a recreational trail loop that goes all the way around Tyson's. It's about four and a half to five miles. And it's like an enhanced trail around Tyson's that connects all the different park spaces. I've had a lot of questions about that. Right, it has to go under the rails. The interesting thing about Tyson's is there aren't really very many people living here yet. And in 20 or 30 years, there's going to be 100,000 people living here. So we need to hear from the people who live in Tyson's and near Tyson's and anywhere in Fairfax County what they think um, the park system in Tyson's should be like. So on our webpage, you can find out about the Tyson's Park System concept plan and actually take a look at that plan, read it, and then give us your feedback on it.